Hey guys, Anthony here for D News. I'm on my way to Rob Reinhardt's place. Now, Rob is an engineer who has eliminated food in his life. He's not going on a diet or anything. He just thinks he has created a substance that will nutritionally replace all needs for food. Why did he do this? I'm gonna find out, and then I'm gonna do it for a week. Cause why not? Okay, so Rob, you have you've given up food. Not entirely. No, I still enjoy eating. Um, okay. I just eat whenever I want to, but it turns out that's pretty rare these days. I had an idea yeah. um, I wanted to test on myself. Um, if uh, one were to consume only the essential nutrients, mm -hmm. um, all of the elements, minerals, uh, macronutrients in raw chemical bioavailable form, uh, what would that feel like? I wanted to save money and time on food and I wanted to be healthier. Have you dropped any weight? I did, so I started out at 205. Mm -hmm. so I ended up losing 15 pounds over the course of the month, which I think is a pretty healthy rate of loss, and then I've maintained at a level, and my physique is, is a lot um, improved from what it was before. Will you mix up the batch here? I'd be happy Can to. Can we see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I usually start with uh, protein, so I just use standard whey. Uh, it's a mix of whey isolate and whey concentrate. So this was something that just came out of, what was it, you wanted to, you wanted to it, save money? It was a combination of things. It, it came out of a desire to just live more minimalist and efficient, and food just seems very expensive and inconvenient and um, unnecessary most of the time. What does it cost to eat nothing but soil it for a month, and how much were you spending on food before? So all told, month, monthly I was spending close to $500 on food, Yeah. and this cost me, and I was extremely unhealthy, um, and at this point it cost me $154.82. And in fact, at scale, this could be a lot cheaper. These are chemicals, I can, I can buy these in, in massive bulk. There's tons of logistics problems with food, you know, mm -hmm. transporting eggs or milk or or fruits, like these things spoil, they need to be refrigerated, transportation is expensive, storage is impossible. With this, I mean, I can, this <laughs> this will sit here for years. Yeah. At scale, I can reduce the cost five or maybe even 10 times, make this extremely cheap, which I'm optimistic myself, it has great potential for the developing world, mm -hmm. people that can't afford adequate nutrition. By reducing food down to like its chemical form, like we hear about chemicals in food and it's kind of like a scary thing. Yeah, I really resent that. I don't think chemical, chemical is not a dirty word. You know, people think food processing, like processed food is a dirty word and organic food is necessarily healthy, but that's only because organic food has generally, has an association in someone's mind with fresh fruits and vegetables, which are yeah. healthy and processed food has an association like ramen, which is unhealthy. But I don't think food processing in and of itself makes food unhealthy. So, I mean, the food industry is heavily regulated. Mm -hmm. um, I think the FDA and the USDA do a pretty good job at making sure that the things that go into our food is safe. A lot of people disagree with me, but okay. um, I think generally that um, a lot of the preservatives and additives are actually not harmful and having food take longer to spoil is I think a net benefit. You're not a nutritionist. This is probably a good time to point out that you're an engineer by trade. Yes, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, I, I'm trained as an electrical engineer uh, and also studied computer science. I don't have formal training in nutrition or biology. I did all my own research on this and, and entirely self-taught, but the data so far seems to be pretty promising. All right, so this is done. This, yeah. is, this is Soylent. This is it. All right, pour me some Soylent. Rob, you've seen The Matrix, right? I have. You know that part on the ship in The Matrix, That's my right? favorite movie, yeah. <laughs> it's the future, right? All right, here we go. Tastes like a milkshake. Yeah, very sweet. This is actually pretty good. So we are uh, actually going to be trying this, you guys. A couple of a couple of people on the D News team, we're gonna be on the Soylent diet for a week. We're gonna be doing daily diaries okay. and uh, putting them up on Facebook so you can see how we feel about this. And we will uh, we will check back at the end of the week. I'm curious myself. I mean, mm -hmm. I've mainly tested it on myself. Uh, it's still under development. I'm excited to do this. Thank you for mixing it up. I'm not gonna die, am I, Rob? I hope not. Ha 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 ha.